This is the Brunsviga Nova 10. It was a departure from anything Brunsviga had made before and an evolution of the Model 10 from 1832. This was all done after the death of Franz Trinx, who must have intimidated Richard Haas too much to release it earlier. The Nova 10 was released in 1951 or 52 under the name B10, although by 1954 it got the name Nova 10. It was quickly followed by the Brunsviga 11E, which looked also very much like the Nova 10, but with the addition of an electric motor. Brunsviga also made a full keyboard version called the 11S. The Nova 10 was similar in size as the original 10, but I think its modern style case gave it a bit of a cheap fill and sound. The mechanism also feels similar, but I think the earlier 10 model feels and sounds a bit nicer. The Nova 10 had a slightly different mechanism than its predecessor. It placed its split step drum on one axle, which simplified the construction a bit, but it didn't make the calculator any smaller. It did change the decimal markers too. The Nova 10 had something that the, the 10 never did, a handle. Germans must have been hauling this thing all around town. It could help you calculate the price of produce. You could use it to calculate the price of, oh, redo. You could use it to calculate the price of gasoline. And finally, you could use it to help calculate the mass of that weirdest of flexes, the town's largest lump of coal. So let's go through a couple calculations. I'll first do 25 times 25. carriage needs a bit of help getting back to home position. Here I'll calculate pi. Don't forget to uh, clear out that one for when you put in the um, divisor? Dividend? I had to look it up. Divisor. When performing division, the machine automatically turns to red complement numbers and it increments. There's no manual switch to override that. Here's a peek at the inside. The case is normally really hard to get off, but uh, unfortunately at some point in this guy's life, one of the tabs that holds the uh, clearing lever handle um, broke off, so it's easier to get off now. Um, this other tab is hanging on by a thread, so I don't know what I'll do if that thing breaks off. But in the meantime, it makes it easier to get that lever off and show you the insides. I think that's a flywheel. There's no gears on it when you spin it. This simple diagram shows the split step drums on the same axle, which was a departure from the previous model, which had the split step drums on two axles. I can show you just a little peek of that right here. That axle in the middle is the one we're looking at.
The Model 10 and all its successors had a good long run until the late 1950s, which surprises me a bit because the Nova 10 cost about the same as the uh, Curta, which was slightly more capable, but significantly more portable. But at the end of the day, the Curta didn't have the Brains of Steel logo. Thanks for watching.